investing investing we invest in things which are backed by uh, a business right so for me investing in gold makes no sense uh, investing in cryptocurrency has never made sense i have never invested so therefore i have not lost money then so i have not gained money both are true uh so it's very important that you understand where you are investing what you are investing and understanding the business if you invest in a guy who has got 10 ola and uber taxis you know how he is making money is making money on those taxis is paying the driver he is spending on the fuel and the with the balance money is able to pay you interest maybe he is able to pay you 8% 9% 10% interest but when his drivers work harder maybe is able to pay you 11% interest so you can give a variable lending to an ola free to owner right so this is a very different kind of a investment so see where you are investing where you are putting your debt money um, debt investments where you are making based on all that your returns will depend and uh, if you have no underlying business to that chances are you lose money so make sure you understand from where you are going to get the money because that is the money which is going to make you financially free i am not saying you are going to retire but you are going to be financially independent whether you want to retire early you can think about it differently uh when you sit and talk about do you uh, always sit and talk about the latest television you bought or latest phone you bought that takes a very small time but remember what do you really talk about experiences maybe you're all sitting at a friend's house and watching a cricket match uh maybe you're all traveling to another city another location maybe it was a friend's son's wedding friend's wedding whatever it is experiences which you remember so don't invest in things invest in experiences is my view of course you cannot do whatever you want so if there is an event which you want to go to you to travel you have to meet people and you you enjoy doing that then do it because those are far more important than the latest uh, phone that you buy right so <laughs> so don't worry so much about accumulating things it doesn't really matter whether you have 47 shirts when you die or 21 shirts when you die doesn't really matter all you needed was four shirts or three four shirts so don't accumulate it, accumulate anything whether it is dresses whether it is phones whether it is any uh, photographic equipment or any other hobby right don't accumulate things accumulate experiences it will be easy to sit and talk with friends and you will uh, recall them with great nostalgia so if you anybody above 40 just think what are your favorite moments and it would be uh, spend time with family your friends and classmates etc so invest in those invest in experiences travel with them maybe you go to the mountains maybe you go to the beaches maybe you go to the forest doesn't matter those are the things which you will uh, enjoy so those are the things which you will recall fondly uh, you'll remember those photographs you'll say oh my god i look so young i had so much hair whatever so those things are more important than the things so material things don't matter as much as experiences do build a process and be willing to break them why we build processes is to ensure that you know uh, if i am investing these are the rules and all that so i do that and then occasionally there will be a share which uh, breaks all the rules which says this is not true this is not true and the price is not falling so either you have the patience of a warren buffett and say okay i will wait till the prices come but some of us cannot be so patient so we'll say uh, typically i say okay i do think that uh, the this share is worth buying at 40 but uh, at 42 let me test the waters let me buy a little at 40 oh it's gone to 45 let me buy more this is losing patience you know that you have arrived at a price of 40 or uh, 38 and then you say okay 38 but up to 40 is okay then you say oh 45 is okay because of a, there you are being swung by the price you are being pulled by the price not by your rules but sometimes you will have to break the rules so that is the reason why you should have discipline you should have rules etc maybe a friend to supervise it a mentor investing investment mentor will tell you no you you being greedy you are wrong these are the rules which you have made according to that this is what the role which is perf- supposed to be performed by the trustee in the mutual fund you can appoint somebody to look after your portfolio that makes sense so don't break make rules break rules but break rules with consent of somebody whom you uh, love and trust Th- uh, then it makes sense to make rules and break them you should know why you are breaking them
Charlie Munger says, I, uh, in my whole life, I have not met any wise person who does not read. So, keep reading, read, 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 is what he says. I am taking one step backward and saying, if you have bought a book, if you have read a book and if you have understood the book, check whether you have implemented the book, right? So, sometimes it's very important whether it's a book on philosophy, whether it's a book on medical care, whether it is a book on geriatric care or investment, doesn't matter. Have you read it? Have you understood it? Have you assimilated it? Have you spoken about it to people? Have you created a video on it? Have you done a book review? All those things are important. So, a book takes a lot of time. It is not just reading a book. Uh, I am currently reading Harsh Mariwala's autobiography. It is so very well written, right? So, all those things are important. So, I think reading a book is exaggerated. Understanding, taking the essence and implementing it is underrated, right? Uh, I think reading is overrated and understanding and implementation is underrated. So, see what which stage of life you are. Maybe uh, I don't think I need to acquire more knowledge. Not that uh, I have all the knowledge, but I have to first implement the knowledge that I have, right? So, that is the bigger challenge for me than reading. Reading is easy. All you do is uh, uh, buy a book and I have at least 10, 12 books unread and lying somewhere mocking at me saying, oh, you bought it, you have not touched it. So. Yeah, that's always good. Having 10 books at a time, not having read is very, very nice to have. So, reading is an overrated, understanding, assimilating, uh, using that data, using that information is underrated. So, make sure that you get the combination right. Yes, you have to read. Yes, you have to understand. Yes, you have to implement. Yes to all the three. Thank you. I realized one thing that uh, traveling by public transport has huge advantage. First of all, you are anti-fragile. You don't have to worry, oh my god, how will I go to the market? There is no car, there is no auto, right? You learn how to walk, as simple as that, right? So, you learn learn to be a little, little anti-fragile, right? So, uh, can I live without electricity? Try it for an hour. Can I live without my cell phone? Try it for two hours. Right, so doing those things makes you anti-fragile, and for heaven's sake, go out there and exercise. Whatever, uh, whatever exercise you want to do, swing your arms, walk, uh, walk for an hour, walk for an hour every alternate day, or go join a gym, uh, get a good trainer. The only, the best investment that your parents made is your body. Okay, so don't ignore that. If you don't look after your body, look at it. This, this is the best investment is you, right? So, all your money, all your, uh, all the tools that you have acquired, all the gadgets that you have acquired, your dresses which you have acquired, everything comes to not the minute you die. So, if a trainer says, I will charge you 8000 per month or 10,000 per month or even greater, <laughs> the thing is to say, yes, can I, it is not a question of can I afford it, the question is what do I have to do to be able to afford it. Of course, you can afford it if you have got enough money, if you do not have enough money, uh, there are still very many things you can do. You can do push-ups at home, you can do jumping jacks, you can do running. All these things cost zero money. Or even if you want to do weights, buying two weights from the local bazaar, 5 kilos each or 7.5 kilos each does not cost you money. Buying a mat does not cost you money. Buying those bands costs you 200 rupees, 300 rupees. And you can go to YouTube and learn about how to use those bands for your exercise. So, do all those things. But for heaven's sake, go out there and exercise and be a little anti-fragile. You can't be too anti-fragile, but little. Try to learn to live with things which you take for granted. If you always travel business class, try traveling economy. If you travel first class, travel business class. Check it out. Don't. I am not saying you have to do that every time, but check it out. There is no harm in checking out these options. Thank you.